So the other day I was lying on an uh, acupuncture table having acupuncture. And uh, while I was lying on the table, I was actually had my face immersed in a color light therapy uh, face cover as well. So I had red light on my face to deal with a health issue I have on my skin right now, my face. And I had my body full of needles. And as I was lying on the table, uh, I had this experience where I began to feel this overlay. I mean, the energetic overlay come on my body, like sink on top of me. And it was so subtle, it felt like the most finest mist as it came over my body. And there's an electrical sensation like I was being tingling all through my entire body, tingling up and down through my entire body, tingling, tingling, tingling. And then I got hit with a barrage of images. Barrage of images like a life reel playing itself out, and I was witnessing it in my mind's eyes. I was lying there with a pair of goggles on under this red light kind of light therapy contraption over my head, and my body full of needles lying there on the table. And I began to have this life reel kind of play itself up in my mind's eye, and as it was playing out in my mind's eye. I began to feel all the sensations and chemically, hormonally, uh, biologically, the sensations that I began to feel, I aligned with every experience that I, that I was witnessing. And it was a, a life, it was a life that I was living in a, in a parallel universe. And it was, and then I didn't understand why I was witnessing this life. I was like, why am I looking at this life with this woman that I met 10, almost 10 years ago, and I hadn't thought about her for that whole time. I hadn't thought about her at all. And then I realized the t-shirt that I'd been wearing for the last week, she'd worn when she stayed with me one night, 10 years ago, she'd worn the same t-shirt to bed that I'd given her. And I was wearing it, and it was like her vibrational energy had become immersed in that t-shirt. And I had become so attuned energetically to the awareness, the, the conscious awareness of my ability to feel deeply into uh, the levels of existence and the waveform, the waveform of reality. Due to the nature of my work that I've been doing in regards to my own personal awareness and my conscious awakening, I become so attuned due to my decision. I feel this now. My decision to become to go to a place of deep solidarity and sing and being single for almost crikey uh, six months but also the levels of awareness i've been as i work through and go deeper and deeper into connection with my higher selves uh, plural consciousness so i really feel as though your consciousness is not occupying one body it's occupying like it has like if you could imagine your higher self being a jellyfish and all the tentacles are of that jellyfish are in different bodies all at the same time same moment no time because it's a construct in the same moment in many bodies across many lifetimes and also out of those lifetimes come different decisions that you could have made and the decisions you made break off into many different in, uh, timelines and that in every decision that you don't take a particular uh, lifetime that because you chose to do something else that lifetime continues on in my perspective anyway in a parallel universe so here I am lying on this acupuncture table having a full life reel of this lifetime with this beautiful woman that I met 10 years ago and I'm 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 lying there that I haven't thought about this woman for 10 years what the hell and she just I see this entire lifetime and I'm I'm lying on the acupuncture bed and it's so vivid it's like oh my god I am watching my life with this woman our children together our experience together our love for one another our deepening connection with each other our adventures with our children the whole lifetime playing itself out. I'm lying on the acupuncture table going like, this is fucking nuts. And I'm having this experience and it was so immersive for me. It was so deeply immersive and it really got me to a place of understanding. 
Dr. Brian Weiss, the psychologist who's done a lot of work with past life regression, has wrote two books that I can recommend. One of them being Many Masters, Many Lives, and Many Many Bodies, One Soul. One Soul, Many Bodies, I think it is. Those two books talk about this experience quite clearly and deeply uh, and through empirical experiences, his own empirical experiences. So for me, it was like, holy doodle, I'm having these experiences. Right now, as I'm lying on this massage table and I'm having this experience of seeing this lifetime that's played itself out on another level of existence, not my one here where I am, because I'm single. I've chosen to be single this time to work through my deepening levels of consciousness and awareness and connect connectivity to all that is. And what I'm feeling is the reason why this happened to me is when I'm as I follow the work of David Dubai and his talk of the Birkeland currents and the electromagnetic energy that passes through our universe, I feel as though Macro, micro, right, as he says as well. The Birkeland currents in, in regards to the nature of the wider expanse of creation and in the universe itself. And then, of course, the individual Birkeland currents that would, that would manifest as you become more aware of them energetically with your own waveform pattern, which we can call a body, right? Which is only a, only a body because according to mainstream science and mainstream physics, the moment we become aware of it, it becomes a particle, right? So it becomes a solid, solid, illusory body, but in the waveform sense. So here I am on this massage, on this uh, massage table, having acupuncture, completely in a state of deep connectivity to the energy that's flowing through me, due to the nature of the needles being in my body and this light therapy happening at the same time, and I'm having this deep sense of like being very embodied. And as I'm doing this, this. Gent, this layer of existence that's been that's existed that's been existing around me, and I'm talking about in a consecutive li a lifetime next to mine, real close to mine, in a parallel universe, that I'd be exactly the same age. So I saw myself in this these visions. I was exactly the same age as I am now in my body. I was 51, but I had two kids with this woman, and we were traveling together. In this vision I had, we were traveling together, and I was just, and I'd both seen everything up until that moment. I was just from that point in time when we met each other, and our lives went separate, separate, separate paths. It was totally out of the blue. I was like, what? And I began to, I'm now realizing in my perception anyway, that the Birkeland currents, the overlay of the currents, it was like, it was as if the currents were the layers of the currents as they move through this idea of, I'm not saying string theory, but the idea of parallel universes and lifetimes existing all in the same moment. It was almost like the overlay of those of one particular lifetime was shown to me as it moved over me, <laughs> as I'm lying there in this state of deep stasis on this bed full of needles, my body obviously having this, these currents go through it as, my, as the stimulation is happening. And in that form of stasis, and, and, and I was just lying there, you know, on the, on the table, <laughs> this energy from this lifetime that's running next to mine in a parallel universe dropped into my body and showed me the lifetime that I was living with this beautiful woman in this parallel universe. And I was just like, far out. It was so beautiful and tangible. My body, I felt, I literally felt everything, every experience that I saw in that, in that lifetime, everything I saw, I felt the emotional, biological responses uh, to every experience that I saw in that lifetime, in my body, on that table, and it was beautiful. It was like watching a movie. <laughs> it's like watching a movie and being fully engrossed in it, but it was my life. It was my life, but in another lifetime. It was so crazy. I couldn't, at the time I was like, this is just bizarre. Cause it was literally, I had not thought about this woman in over almost 10 years, you know? And it was just bizarre, but it was beautiful. I was like, my appreciation for her now in this lifetime and my connection with her went to a whole new level of, of deep reverence and 
and feeling of awe. Like I had this beautiful connection with this amazing woman, but in a parallel life, uh, so close to this one, I feel now, we have a very different connection. And uh, it was amazing. It was like, and then this is what I'm feeling as though potentially at this time for other people, you might be able to tell me this, if you wanted to share your experiences, if you're having these experiences as well, either in your dreams or in your real life, where you're having these crossovers almost, where you have one lifetime, and I'm not saying you're necessarily living in the same body or the same kind of look body you have you have now in regards to your avatar. It could be a different looking avatar you have in that lifetime, but it's crossing over with your body in this life right now, in this moment, as if the, the currents are beginning to emerge in like almost in a DNA stream. If they're running side by side in regards to the Birkeland Current, so they're running, but they are suddenly crossing, the streams are crossing, and in that stream crossing, you're having this moment where you're actually perhaps the other self in that lifetime that I was uh, experiencing. Maybe that self was experiencing my lifetime here, and there's an exchange of like, oh, this is what it feels like to not have had this experience with this woman. And this is what it feels like to not to be single and have no children and to be living this life like this. So maybe there was a situation where as the two lives crossed and I was lying on that bed, <laughs> that self where I had a very different life with this beautiful woman had the experience to know what it was like to be what I'm living my life now. And it was like, what the hell? What's going on? You're like, having the experience, but being, I'm not sure if that lifetime was actually as consciously aware as I am now of what they were experiencing or not. It was like, I don't remember. I couldn't, I don't have the ability to discern that information. But it was so crazy. And I'm feeling as though in this moment of what's going on energetically, there is this, this crossing. And in my dreams as well, in my dreams, I did a video about this a while ago, but in my dreams I'm having like connections with with women in my dreams. And I've said this before in another video, like I said before, I have said this before in another videos. I'm having these connections with these women in dreams that are so heartfelt and deep and, and real and authentic and vulnerable. And I'm having these connections, like I'm, I'm having lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes of connections with beautiful women from all walks of life. And the honor and the integrity and the, the honor of this divine feminine through my embodiment of the divine masculine in my dreams is taking me to a whole level of, of connectivity with these beautiful women in my dreams. And it isn't sexual. It's much, much deeper than that. It's the acknowledgement of the divine mas masculine and feminine within myself and in an, another woman. And it's the honoring of that in my dreams that is what's happening because in my real in my life here my real life my real life in this life I'm not having those kind of connections I don't have the energy or time for that kind of connection in my life and therefore I'm not resonating that out into the world to bring that kind of connection into my life in my everyday reality in my everyday reality I'm not meeting women at all that I would want to have that kind of connection with I have so many friends that I connect with and they're friends I love them all deeply tenderly and with the most deepest compassion and empathy for their own life experiences and the paths they're on. But I'm not looking for any kind of connection in a sexual way or in an intimate way. I don't have energy for that right now in my life. But in my dreams, it's completely different. And it's amazing. And then I had this experience on this massage table while having acupuncture. It was just like, what the what? It was so beautiful, and, and I'm writing a blog about it right now. But it was, it was so wild. It was like, wow, the universe or my higher nature, my higher self, wants to show me that I'm living these lives parallel to my own one. And, and some of these lives are different than other than in regards to the nature of what I'm experiencing are very different. And this one was just beautiful. The connectivity I had with this woman was just, and our children, was just incredible. I felt I was so blessed to have this moment and, this, and having this, having this feeling. And I, I am now, as I write this blog about this beautiful woman that I connected back almost ten years ago, I still feel this 
sense of reverence and love for her and appreciation for this connection in that lifetime and in this one in the same moment. So I am truly grateful. So Kim, blessings. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Mateo. I'll see you again soon.